Yeah, hi guys. This is Carriage Hill Drive in Wethersfield. The birds are chirping, the sun is out. It's almost like nothing at all happened today. That is until we show you this next door property. This is uh, a homeowner's backyard. I don't think this is what they had in mind when they were talking about a water view. This shed has been completely engulfed. It's now on an island. This is Goff Brook. Goff Brook does run through here, although this is not where it is supposed to be. And this has been the scene here in Wethersfield. We've been talking to many different homeowners who've been bailing out their basements. Elsa made her mark. At, at least we're safe and brought new meaning to a waterbed. Your bed was flooding, you said? Mine was. Oh, everybody's. Everybody's bed is flooding downstairs. Hartford, Reserve Road, nearly impassable. Brown Street, storm drains bubbled over. Barnard Street, a tree on the wires to Hartford's notoriously flooded Blue Hills neighborhood. It's turned out to be a little bit better than we expected. You know, we were looking at forecasts of potentially up to five inches of rain. But the suburbs didn't fare as well. Here at Jordan Lane and Goodwin Park Road in Wethersfield, this tree fell on live wires in Francis Rivera's yard, scorching the earth. It was like a lot of fire, like and all the lines in front of the house, uh, fire and like a smoke. Her troubles only beginning. Maybe like two feet of water. Realizing her basement was flooded, stranding a furry friend. One of my cats. He's hiding now. He's so scared. Your cat's still down there? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. Originally from Puerto Rico, Rivera said Elsa brought her home. This all remind me of uh, just a little bit of when we have hurricanes over there. A few houses down, the Furman family had their pumps working overtime to bail out four feet of flood water. It happened once, but it was less than that. It only reached the first um, staircase, mm -hmm. and now it's at the fourth. Laundry, the furnace, all submerged, losing nearly everything they had. I have a dresser. It's really small. That one flipped. My diploma was in there. Families having to band together to save what they could and worry about tomorrow tomorrow. What's your plan? And Where do you guys go from here? Um, we just, just get buckets and we take it out. And so residents are telling me, well, their next step, they're going to be placing phone calls to their insurance companies. They're going to be photographing everything that has been damaged. And we've been hearing from Department of Public Works directors all day long, and they tell me that the biggest concern is actually as we go through the weekend, delayed flooding of the banks of the Connecticut River. What they're very concerned about is upstream runoff in Massachusetts making its way here to Connecticut and overflowing the banks, something that we're going to be keeping a very close eye on as we go throughout the rest of this weekend. For now, we are live here in Wethersfield on Carriage Hill Drive. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.